So now we have Sebastian, welcome. Um, Sebastian is telling us about online selling without internet connection. Thank you. Hello, um, how many of you... Oh. Now? Yes. How many of you have uh, used a payment system, a digital payment system? Raise your hand. How many of you like free software? Raise your hand. How many of you know the software that the payment system is running? Okay, nobody. <laughs> So, uh, how many of you know, uh, know new, new uh, GNU Teller already? Okay, couple, couple of hands. So, uh, I will s this is not about talking about uh, GNU Teller. You must uh, already know it. But we are, uh, this is an update of what we are working on. So, we are working on um, the local currency, uh, lastly. Um, this is how it works. So, uh, from the wallet, you first, uh, for the one who doesn't haven't used yet uh, GNU Tyler, you first withdraw the, the coins, you spend it, uh, you get the ticket from the merchant, you spend it in, in the merchant in um, with coins that are like the signature, so you cannot link the withdrawal from the payment, so no one can trace you uh, what, are you, what are you buying. And then the merchant make the deposit and get the, the cash back uh, from the merchant bank account, right? So this is, uh, I already know. But we were thinking about if a merchant is going to be, like, for example, here uh, selling stuff and doesn't have internet connection, how do, how do you trust that the wallet did the payment if you cannot check online? So we found a solution, uh, basically, without too much too much saying, we, we are using a, a TOTP code generator that the merchant has with a shared key with a, uh, with a merchant device. So in the point of sales, you can check that uh, the wallet's transaction has codes uh, that, that are valid for the purchase. So when the, merchant, when, when the wallet uh, pays, you get information for the merchant back office. Right, and it has some verification code that can be validated with the with the merchant point of sales. So, so I, as you can see here, um, the point of sales um, talks with, with the buyer, set the amounts, and uh, it creates a contract that is going to be paid and generates the the, the key that will generate the code that is going to be transferred to the point of sales. If the point of sales um, validate that the, the code is the correct one, it, it checks that the, the purchase is real. So you can do that without uh, the point of sale being online with the merchant. <clears throat> so this is an example creating um, uh, a, a QR code. The merchant can create a QR code that uh, is going to be put in the point of sales. You set uh, the description, the summary, and a fixed price. And then this is what you can can be printed in the point of sales, so you can scan it when you roll it and pay it. When you pay it with the wallet, you're going to see the, the, the confirmation of the, of the transaction with this with, with these codes. And this code is what you can tell to the merchant to say, I made a purchase, this is, a, this is my code, okay, and the merchant can verify that because there is an OTP validator in the, in the merchant device. So there is no demo because uh, there is too much thing happening right now, and I, we are going to be implementing this this feature in the batch. And I think the Soko Village is running a merchant and title exchange, and we are trying to to implement that so it can be tested. Um, we also will be in the House of Tea every day at 3 p.m. We are going to be there just for talking about Tyler, and also maybe a workshop to set up uh, local currencies. And that's it. And there is a lot of help wanted, testing, translations, also testing the deployments. And that's it. Thank you. <laughs>